A lot of traders are struggling with trading and understanding wicks. We don't actually trade the actual wick, but we are looking for how the market responds to a wick. So in a downtrend, when you see that the market has started moving and then you suddenly see a wick, a lot of traders may get scared out of their positions. But if the market is able to recover and claim a wick, then it's often a continuation signal into the direction of the wick. When you see, on the other hand, a lot of rejection wicks poking into one side but not being able to reclaim the wick and not able to cover the wicks, this could be a reversal signal, such as here, and then the market is shooting into the opposite direction. The price here is now in an uptrending market, but should we see that the market is eating the wick to the upside, this could be a bullish signal. So we don't trade the actual wick, we trade the reaction to the wick. The next candle is even more interesting. We have a large wick to the upside. The market has not been able to reclaim the wick to the downside and if we get a breakout to the upside, this would be considered a bullish signal. The market is moving higher, it's eating the wick and the uptrend is continued.